Carthage about to be destroyed. So I have not filmed for a while. I've been very busy this last month in September here, and uh, that's because I've been working mostly on getting your guys' Kickstarter decals ready. We ran the second decal project on Kickstarter. It was successful. Thank you, everyone who joined and made that uh, reality. And uh, I've just been working on fulfilling that and working with the printer to make sure those decals are done right and well. I've also been getting ready the next series that I want to do, and that's taken a lot of work. It always There's always a lot of uh, effort and uh, work time that I put into that, and sometimes that uh, takes away from the other stuff I want to do. But I do want to, at the end of this month, do uh, a similar video to last time where I just kind of share my acquisitions and also talk a little bit about uh, some other videos I'd like to do very soon. So I'm going to start right with the plastic stuff I got this month. Um, I got, uh, this is a Fireforge Sergeant here I put together. Now you might be wondering why am I showing a Fireforge Sergeant here? I'm not gonna do it, there's no unboxing or anything like this. But I ended up getting a single sprue of Fireforge Sergeants, and this is actually going to be for the next decal Kickstarter because I'm going to put these guys together and I'll have these eight shields that are uh, quite decent size to display decals on and once they are done and ready they will match the uh, first kickstarter shields that i was using uh, in the first project they're the exact same shields i do have some uh, extra smaller kite shields here compared to these uh, bigger ones but yeah i've got a sprue of just eight regular sergeants you know what i'll share how they look anyway kind of like an unboxing like i do they're very generic they're very uh basic medieval for proportions and stuff they're not <laughs> they're not peri miniatures but they get the job done their poses have some crouched things there their armor is kind of a mixture of this i want to call it like a leather scale i'm not sure i'm going to paint it and some padded kind of jerkin stuff going on they give you a bunch of maces axes some swords here and they also give you arms, and the arms on the arm, the arms here are all like the same kind of like stretched padded gear. So you don't have anything really that matches the scale. All of the items here are going to be kind of this, um, I don't even know really what it is, kind of like a padded armor. But they all kind of look like that, and then when you put them together, you're going to have somebody like this. And then he'll have a shield and a nice decal on them. And I'll probably end up using these guys for Frostgrave or some fantasy stuff. They're... Very, very, uh, very basic, very uh, useful too for Frostgrave, I think. Show you guys some heads here quick. Lots of cool kettle helmets, and then just some basic top helmets there. So that's that. That's what I got there. I also got <laughs> a random chaos. Uh, what are they called? They're, cal they're, they're, they're cultists. Uh, the Warhammer 40k Chaos Keltus. I think this is a Chaos. I think this is an older one. He's a snap together. I haven't glued him or put him together yet. But I just ended up getting him because I wanted to compare him to a size. I don't know if I'll do anything with him. That's I'm going to share that with you. For the decal project that's coming up, I also order stuff from Footsore. And I only got shields from them this time, which are their large kite shields, which fit the decals nicely. I had them in the second get started. But I also saw... Hannibal here, and I thought it'd be nice for my ancients to have a, a Carthaginian general. Now, this Hannibal here, before I show it to you, it's actually from Stronghold Miniatures, so Stronghold Terrain dot uh, Germany there dot de. So these miniatures you can buy on the Footsore website, but they're from Stronghold Terrain. He's the one who makes them, and puts them together, and I believe Footsore is their uh, UK supplier. I guess they have some issues with supplying outside of Germany and stuff. I'm not too sure about that. But I'm gonna open this and show you guys here. This, uh, this is interesting. It comes with kind of like a metal base with a magnet in there. So you can set it up where if you glue it on here, you got kind of a magnet that'll hold down the model and you can take them off and move them and stuff. I'll probably just use a regular base. I prefer that. But it comes with a metal base and a magnet. Uh, here's the horse. And here is Hannibal. Hannibal's probably more what you wanna see. Okay, now I thought the Hannibal was all right. I'm not gonna be using him for Hannibal. I think Hannibal would have like a, a big old Phoenician beard. And he does have an eye patch here. I don't think you can really see it too well. 
but on the right side of his face, he does have an eye patch under the helmet. So it's Hannibal um, on the horse. Sits like so. I'm gonna have to green stuff that uh, rein in there to match, or else I have to sit really close, which won't make sense. So I might have to do some green stuff because the hand here itself, as you can see, does have the, I guess, whatever the reins are that are supposed to be attached there. Um, the horse is kind of small, but that's all right because I think uh, ponies back in the day were kind of smaller, and he's just a general to ride around and give orders. So it's a good, it's a good model for what it is. Um, I think it could be a bit more imposing as a Hannibal figure, more facial hair, maybe a better pose. But he's got a cape, he's got Carthaginian-like armor, and you know he's got this. Uh, I'm gonna call it Greek and Roman inspired Phoenician helmet for, for Carthage. So he's gonna be done up as a general at some point when I get back to the Punic War stuff. Okay, I also got in some more giants of miniatures. I've got their newest one here, which is Audubon Bismarck. And as you can see here, he's quite popular. Hey, I already had number 90 out of 500. They only make 500 of these, is from my understanding. So Otto here is a popular model, and he's just one piece. He's nice, he's got the gold Prussian helmet there. I forget what they're called, but I bought the him just because I think uh, he's, he is a, uh, uh, a notable his, uh, historical character, and I just want something to paint as a display item. So I'll probably do him later on, take my time, no rush on him, he's not gonna be any more gaming, but he's just gonna be something I paint for fun. Um, likewise, and I might actually use him for war gaming, I have, uh, this lad here, he's been out for a while now, and they're at 349, so I mean, he's been out, for, I think he's been out for a couple years. So, um, uh, I don't, I'm gonna butcher his name here. Havalardar Ishar Sins, I think, Sing? I can't, I can't speak the, the names here. But anyway, I do have the Sikh, not Sikh, but the Afghanistan um, theater for the Anglo-Axon, or Anglo-Axon, <laughs> Anglo-Afghanistan stuff, the Anglo-Afghan stuff. And, uh, I think he might fit in for a few scenarios if I do up the uh, Perry miniatures. And uh, I have done some up. Let's see if I can pull him out here. But I think he's just a cool model. He's a two piece model, and I think the sculptor's different. It's actually got a number of pieces. It's a three piece model. So here he's got a stone that he's going to be glued on. He's going to be sitting something like this. Like so, it's a really good model. Just some gluing and assembly here with the metal. And then he's going to have his sword arm like this. So, so these guys like held off a whole whack of Afghan tribesmen, all in their lonesome before they fell. It's quite a, a legendary battle that you don't hear much about unless you're into war gaming or study that history. But it's a very uh, a very famous, it is famous, but it's a very impressive last stand. You guys can look it up. It's at the, it says on the back here, it's the Battle of the Saragari. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it again, but it, it, yeah, like it says here, it's one of the greatest last stands in military history. So look it up if you don't know that battle. Very interesting. Finally, because I saw lots of people get it, and I was lucky to get him because I've seen a lot of people getting them. He's 469, so there's only, there's probably less now. There's only 31 left of these out of 500. So this guy here is uh, Lord Callan. He came, he's also more of a recent miniature that came out with the, uh, never mind the bill hooks, I think. I can think it was came out with that rule set. The bag's kind of broken here. I don't know what's going on with this bag. The bag's not important. I just like to keep the, the little information slip in the model, of course. But Lord Callan here, Never mind the Bill Hicks. So he, you're looking at War of the Roses or maybe 15th century. I got him and I think he'll be good to use maybe for uh, a miniature when I do later 15th century stuff. He's a little bigger than the Perry stuff I'm gonna match with him. The Agincourt plastics are a bit more um, towards this guy's height or size, whereas the older plastics from Perry for the, uh, for the later 15th century are a little smaller, a little more squat, but he will be okay when I put him in with the other metals that Perry does in that range, so. So yeah, I didn't get too much for models. I, I usually get a few things I like to share, as you guys see there. So if you find that interesting, that's great. I'm gonna end today's video by showing the last thing I got. 
I got lions rampant. I won't put the whole, well, maybe I will. I'll just do this, lion rampant. Second edition, come on, focus. Uh, lots of people have got this book. Don't worry about the focus. Lots of people have got this book here. And I'm not gonna do a flip through of this book um, because I think it's been out for a few months now, I think, a couple months now. I got mine late because I ordered mine on Amazon, but for some reason, when shipping came through, it took like over a month to get to me. So I'm kind of late on getting the new edition of the book. I was one of the, maybe the first people to order it, but for some reason it took forever to get here. That's fine. I want to do some solo videos because I'm almost done. I've been very busy, but I all, I'm almost done my mountain nights and enough foot nights to kind of like do a little bit of miniature gaming with a, a just, you know, solo stuff. And I think it'd be interesting that instead with this rule set, instead of like doing what I did before with Hail Caesar and uh, Clash of Spears, what I think would be cooler instead of going to the book is read the rules, see what's changed from the first edition, and then just kind of do little scenarios with my own collection and share with you guys how the game runs through instead of doing like a whole book walkthrough. I think sometimes that, that takes a lot of time and the space I have right now, I'm kind of limited with what I'm doing. But I think in my spare time, if we can just, you know, do some fun little games, see the results, show off maybe a short 10 to 15 minute little battle between two forces, maybe Brittany versus France in the, in the you know, in the earlier part of the 15th century, that'd be kind of cool. So I think we'll do something like, or maybe, maybe you know, Burgundy, Burgundy, the Burgundy forces against the the uh, I think the Valois forces. I don't I don't remember, but they had a little bit of a civil war going in there with the Burgundians and uh, the French nobility. So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, I got this in too. Um, I'm not gonna make this video any longer by flipping through it, but it's just another thing I got in. Uh, that's it for what I got in September. Again, not a lot of videos this month because I've just been so busy. The Kickstarter stuff is still in process and it's going to come out soon. So if you back that again, thank you. I will have updates for that very soon. And I hope to, in the early part of October here, start shipping those out to all the backers and getting the uh, another series on the go. So thank you guys for watching today. Um, I will try and update the channel more if I can. And if you like this stuff, please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and we will see you all in the next one. Have an awesome one. Bye-bye.